Christian Life by Arthur Davis. To live a Christian life today may seem a little tough. You may sometimes even feel like quitting and saying, I've had enough. But when you think of all the blessings you've received from God above, you stop and say a solemn prayer, and He fills you with all His love. Some friends, even loved ones, have made you fun of you. And if you're living a Christian life, and to Jesus you are true, it may seem friends have forsaken you, and you feel a little sad. But Jesus Christ is the dearest friend a Christian ever had. Yes, a Christian life may seem hard if we heed God's every command and stay on that straight and narrow road that leads to the promised land. We may even falter while down life's road we tried, but the happiest life to live on earth is to be a child of the living God. By Arthur Davis. A poem by Janindal Parker. Lord, my life is spent. What can I do? I'm so old and weak. I'm no use to you. But you know, he can use even me. If I just turn my life over to him and wait and see. You know, I can call people and talk on the phone. You know, there are shut-in people who have to stay at home. We ladies get accused of loving to run our mouth. So why not talk to people who have to stay in the house? In the Bible, he spoke through a donkey, don't you see? Well, if he can do that, I guess he can use me. After I had a stroke and I thought I couldn't teach anymore, but he can teach me if I just open the door. Oh, how sweet the kids are! you are, you should see, for I love them and they love me. So I know the Lord can teach me as long as I live. I know, I know he has plenty to give. Amen. A special love, I got saved. I was barely a teenager when I met him many years ago, but I could tell from the first that he loved me. He was so gentle and kind, and there wasn't a trace of weakness in his character. He invited me to come with him, and I couldn't resist. I put my trust in him as we started down life's path together. Daffodils were in full bloom, and multiple colors of irises stretched toward the sun. Loose green grass was a carpet for the uh, birds and delighted in the springtime splendor of the red bud and crepe myrtle. I fell in love with him that day, my heart, my soul, my all I gave to him, and I have never regretted that surrender. He's done more for me than I ever thought anyone would. His love has inspired me to accomplish more than I ever thought I could. How could I love him? I could never count the ways. He is the length and the breadth and the depth and the height of my life. He is everything to me and ever shall be. He is mine and I am his forever and ever and evermore. His name is Jesus. It's by Laverne Hart, H-A-R-T. Celebrate you. You are worth celebrating. You are worth everything. You are unique. In all the world, there's only one. With the talent, experience, and gifts, God created only one, you. You have the unlimited potential to love, to care, to create, to grow, to sacrifice. If you believe in yourself, it doesn't matter your age, your color, or whether your parents loved you or not. Maybe they wanted to, but they couldn't. Let that go. It belongs to the past. You belong to the now. It doesn't matter where you've been, the wrong you've done, the mistakes you've made, the people you've hurt. You are forgiven. You are accepted. You are okay. You are loved. 
in spite of everything. So love yourself and flourish the seeds within you. Celebrate you. Begin now. Start anew. Give yourself a new birth today. You are you and that is all you need to be. You are temporary, here today and gone tomorrow. But today, today can be a new beginning, a new thing, a new life. You, you cannot deserve this new life. It is given freely. This is the miracle called God. So celebrate the miracle and celebrate you.
Today is Christmas. Christmas comes but once a year, so many people say. But to a person saved from sin, it's Christmas every day. A man when saved or born again, his life to Christ will give. And as a newborn babe in Christ, he's just begun to live. I am the resurrection and the life, the Savior one day said. And he, believing in my word, shall live though he be dead. And that well-known Apostle Paul in Philippi made plain, For me to live is Jesus Christ, for me to die is gain. So when the blood of Christ our Lord redeems a soul from sin, every day is Christmas, for Jesus lives within. The author unknown. Jesus our Lord, Jesus died, he was buried, he rose again. He arose a victory from the dark domain. He lives forever with his saints to reign. Hallelujah, Christ arose. He's alive and we're forgiven.